It felt like I was on a plane and we were going through heavy turbulence. Passenger Sean McLaughlin took this cell phone video on board the 537 NJ Transit train traveling on the Pascac Valley line Tuesday night. <laughs> For the first two minutes, I literally held on as the train shifted to the right and we we're bouncing excessively. McLaughlin says the conductors did not stop the train or offer any explanation to concerned passengers. They also apparently didn't mention it to NJ Transit because one day after McLaughlin posted the video on Twitter, NJ Transit finally wrote back apologizing for the delay in response and asking for more information. It then located the car and took it out of service. Service. We asked NJ Transit to go on camera about this. They declined and called it a rare occurrence, a mechanical issue with the car's suspension. Sean says he seems to encounter issues with NJ Transit quite frequently. Delays, canceled trains, overcrowding, standing room only, um, and it's been a very, very difficult commute. And as we report quite often, he's not alone in that. It's not good. They keep saying that it's going to get better and everything. I feel it's not. As for McLaughlin, another twist in his story. Tuesday's incident was like deja vu. I personally thought to myself, oh my God, I'm going to be in another New Jersey train crash. You heard right. McLaughlin says he was in the front car of the train that crashed in Hoboken in 2016, killing one and injuring more than 100 people. He stopped taking the train for more than a year. I took the bus. I drove. Drove, I carpooled, um, and it was an inconvenience. So back on the train he went, but now he wants Governor Murphy to make good on his promise to fix the system. Until then, he's going to keep tweeting about his experiences, hoping NJ Transit keeps taking notice. Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News.